Hey everyone, it's Kelly. How you going? I thought that I would do a WIP and chat, which stands for work in progress. <laughs> it took me a little bit of that to figure out when I first started. Um, cause I love watching these with other people's videos and I've had a few people come here to the channel for the diamond painting videos I've done. So they're not here so much for the frugal content, but they do enjoy the creative side of things. I do have people that like both. <laughs> so I thought that I'd try and batch record some videos to have them on the weekends. And then those that are interested in diamond painting only will know that they're sort of out on Saturday, Sunday. And for any other frugal content, it will be during the week. So I thought today I would just set the timer and see how I go and then do a little bit. I've spent the last uh, 10 minutes trying to navigate this multi-placer. Um, I've worked out there wasn't enough wax in the end, but the rest are just, yeah, it's not working for me. And trying to line these things up is just absolute crazy. So um, this is a complete work in progress, yeah. So we'll stay at the timer and we'll see how we go. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelly. Hi. <laughs> I'm a wife and a mum living in Adelaide, Australia. And I'm married to my husband, Jeremy. We've been married for about 23 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I have a daughter who's 22 and my son who is 19. My son is officially diagnosed with autism. My daughter is not officially diagnosed, but she'd definitely be on the spectrum. Uh, my son's just finished grade 12, so we're looking at where he's going to be going next year. And my daughter is doing Bachelor of Arts degree with a elective in jewelry making. She's a very creative person. Um, she was going to originally get a bachelor's degree so she could get a TESOL so she could teach English in Korea because she absolutely loves the culture, the people. Uh, and then COVID hit. <laughs> so studying online was really difficult. She was doing an arts degree and they had to submit a lot of stuff online. And it was just so how do you send a creative piece of work online? It's really hard. So um, she put that on pause for that sort of 12 months and She's just gone back. Um, and I do everything. <laughs> I'm the CEO of this house. Um, I am a frugal fun mum. I love to do frugal content. I love to do shopping. I love shopping. I love a bargain. I love teaching people how to get a bargain. I love shopping. <laughs> ah, there's a pattern here. I have no idea what I'm doing with this diamond painting. It does not surprise me. I'm very new to all of this. I've probably done way too many in one area. Yeah. Um, I also am a Zumba instructor and I teach eight classes a week. Sometimes I teach two a day, but I absolutely love it. I specialize more in Zumba Gold, so teaching active elders, and I have a passion as well for teaching those with special needs. Um, and yeah, it's great fun to see them getting involved. If we have one-off classes or we have people that come to our community classes, so that is so much fun. I have done a lot in life. I actually have a Bachelor of Nursing and a Certificate in Dental Assisting and I have worked in both fields but when I got married I wanted to start a family so I gave up all of that and I've had 22 years of experience in direct selling. So I was with Avon for 19 years before they sadly closed in Australia in 2018 not before I earned my Audi for being the number one sales leader for 2016, 2017. And then I moved on to Mary Kay because it seemed like the next progression until they sadly closed in Australia in March of 2020, right before the pandemic hit. So 
that was very interesting but i'm grateful for the opportunity i was only with them for two years but i'm glad that i did it i've always wanted to join and so when it came up i said why not i um really enjoyed our downtime in the pandemic because we have been having a lot of issues with my son with schooling just the system isn't coped to always deal with people with special needs and so it really gave us a break from a system and we homeschooled and he absolutely flourished so we actually moved schools and then he spent the last two years doing grade 12 over two years at a new school and he just flourished and yeah i'm really proud of him and all his achievements as what he's done he would never have been able to um do computers or tech or science where he was at school he was really limited and so i'm really grateful that we did move and i you don't really get to meet other parents at this new school because a lot of it is an adult campus but I got to meet a lot of teachers and the staff and they're just all amazing. So I'm so happy that we went. I like to keep pretty busy during the week. If you watch any of my blog vlogs, <laughs> you'll see that I run around like a chicken with my head cut off, as they say. But I love every minute of it. And I like to keep busy because also I know with Christmas coming, I will have some well-deserved downtime from teaching Zumba in some classes. So I'm trying to keep busy to get everything organized so then we can just be home and I don't have to leave the house because I am such a homebody. I absolutely love being home. I do love shopping, but <laughs> um, I like to go out for a purpose and then come back again, so. Yes, if you have any questions or anything you want to know about me, uh, leave them down below because I would love to have some things to be able to chat about. I wondered how I was actually going to be able to do this uh, and talk at the same time because although I can do a lot of things, multitask, <laughs> sometimes I can't do it if I'm actually trying to focus on something like this. I was going to watch a K-drama because I love watching K-dramas online. We found a couple that were online, but um, they have subtitles <laughs> and I've got to watch them, don't I, at the same time as they're playing. <laughs> and I can't do that if I'm doing diamond art because I want to concentrate. <laughs> so probably tonight when the lights are too bad to be able to film because I want to be able to film for you guys in some good lighting. I will watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm re-watching Grey's Anatomy for about the seventh time. I'm up to season three, so we've passed season two and the prom. If you know, you know. And... Yeah, I'm halfway through season three, right before the wedding. So, <laughs> unlike the wedding of Game of Thrones, <laughs> but still just as dramatic. Uh, what else? I love K-pop music. Uh, Monster X is my favorite band. I do like a few others, but of course they're the only one that come to mind at the moment. Um, I love chocolate. <laughs> I love probably dark chocolate the most. I love a dark peppermint chocolate. I <laughs> I love Tom Cruise. Well, no, I really like him. <laughs> I love his movies and people say I'm crazy. So sometimes on the channel, I'll have a thing where I'm like, oh, yes, found Tom Cruise at the shops. <laughs> so if you're looking for a bit of weird lady entertainment you can watch my blogs because i tend to just do random things in there gotta entertain myself somehow um what else is happening not much um probably yeah as i said moving into a bit of a season of don't really know what's going on now that my son's finished grade 12 i don't have that daily 
drive to school every day. It was like an hour drive every day. And so I'm grateful for that. Certainly saving on petrol. Um, but I'm also now filling up my time, sometimes taking my mum to bingo, which is quite funny because I used to love going to bingo when I was younger. And now that she's retired and I have a little bit extra time, I'm able to go. So that's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love, oh, I love meeting people at the shops that say, I watch you on YouTube. <laughs> it's so good. So I try and turn a lot of the captions on because I do have some people that say they listen to my videos while they're cooking or cleaning. I've had a couple people say they watch my videos with subtitles to learn English. So I hope that I'm able to speak clearly enough with enough basic English, not too many slang words <laughs> for you to understand and to learn because I would love to be able to help anyone that wants to learn. I would love to do a language exchange if I helped someone with English um, and they could teach me some of their language. That would be so cool. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm just going to leave this here for today. Thanks so much for joining me on my very first whip and chat. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down below because I would love to chat to you further and do other stuff. But I thought I'd just do a quick short video for today, introduce myself and yeah, break into this whip and chat community. Thanks so much for joining with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.